Hello and welcome to Alex's Temps Tabletop. Today I'll be showing you how to paint an S100 Evo for the game Cruel Seas made by Warlord Games. So this is using Citadel Paints this tutorial. So first off I use Mechanica Standard Grey to prime it. And then for the trim of the boat um, I used Astra Militarum Grey. I wouldn't say the trim, there's probably a more efficient word but I ain't very good when it comes to boats. And then that's me just painting the bridge as well, the, the, the cabin, whatever you want to call it as well. Most things need like two layers of coats. And then for the deck I used Eschen Grey. I said if you make mistakes it's okay, you can tidy up later. And then for the details on the ship I used Dawnstone. So just like the little raised bits the gun casings and stuff and then for the actual barrels of the guns and stuff I used lead belcher and I did that for the torpedoes as well and then for the decking I used dryock bark you'll be able to tell what it is because the light planks of wood and then for the tip of the torpedoes I used a bad and black not very clear on this part but you can kind of get it and then for the propellers of the torpedoes I used Yorian yellow any yellows are do to be honest just make sure it's nice and bright and then I didn't record this part but um, that's the patterns for the ship so that I mix these two paints together so it's just blue and warpstone glow I just mix them together uh, it's mainly blue with a tiny bit of green and then you can recreate these patterns or go on Google to find it For the windows, I painted with Euphon Grey, then Cement White, and then I put a glaze on with Gillum and Glaze. It's that simple. As again, you can not use a glaze, you can use some blues instead and like highlight it. Either way, that's what I did because it's quick and easy. Then I used two washes for the ship, so for the gun casings, the metals, I used Agrax Earth Shade mixed with Lanny and Medium. And then for the rest of the ship, I used Nun Oil with Lanny and Medium. And then that's the ship done essentially, if you want it to look nice and clean. It's a really simple scheme, it doesn't take long, but it's effective on the table. But now I'm going to go on and show you some more weathering. So here you want to use a brown, I used a um, Rhinox Hide with a sponge and you just kind of place it around the boat. So it gives a slight chipping effect, the base of that. And then we're going to go over that rocks, um, Rhinox Hide now with Lead Belcher. So it gives a kind of weathering chipping effect that it's been out that sea for a while, it's been used, it's not brand new. I kind of prefer that with my miniatures, just makes it look like they've been used. But it's each of their own interpretation, if you want it to look clean then you don't have to do that. But I just like it, it kind of brings out, gives it some character. And now for the last bit. Once again, you just can use any brown. I used Rhinox Hide again. Watered down. I was putting it out there, these kind of rim bits on the ship. And it looks like water's got in there and it's rusted and it's slight weathering effect, which is quite efficient. And it helps with that chipping effect I've done as well. So it just makes the boat stand out more. I really like it. I thought it was very simple and effective. Um, there'll be a, a picture at the end of this video, so then you can get a better look with better lighting. But that's it. That was simple hopefully you liked it if you got any feedback leave feedback if you liked like it leave a comment if you didn't leave a reason why if you want to sub go and sub if you want to see me do more of these things i am probably going to cover a bit more so hopefully you enjoyed that and i'll catch you soon goodbye